What's going on you guys? How you doing today? So today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between Stalker and Shadow Stalker and uh, we're going to get into a little bit of how you guys could kind of farm Stalker just so you know Stalker is not really farmable however there may be a way that you guys could sort of farm Stalker. Uh, I don't even know if I would count it but I'll give you guys some strategies and stuff you can try it out let me know how it works for you. So taking a look at the stats of Stalker versus Shadow Stalker, everything seems to be pretty identical except for just a couple of minor adjustments. So as far as missions goes, it says here that the regular Stalker may not show up on trial missions. However, in the wiki, it does state that it needs confirmation as to whether or not he would show up on the, the trial missions, which basically are the raids. Your, uh, your Shadow Stalker over here, however, doesn't say anything about him not showing up in the raids. So maybe you guys can confirm that there may be a possibility that he will show up on the raids. The type of enemy stalker is, he's an assassin field boss, which basically means he's going to show up in the field. You don't actually go to a mission to fight stalker, unless of course you're talking about the war within. Getting into a little bit further detail about that, the wiki itself for both stalker and shadow stalker say that the spawn chance equals 1.5% plus 0.5% times P. P equals the number of cell members marked for death. So basically, a cell member is just another person in your squad. So realistically, you do have the ability to increase the chances of Stalker showing up if everybody has a mark from the Stalker. Now basically what you guys want to do to get marked by the Stalker is you guys want to go and kill some bosses. And when you guys kill bosses, you're going to get messages in your inbox after you've killed those bosses from the boss. And it's going to have a picture of, Sha of Stalker on it that basically says your actions have consequences. So this is one from Forid and this is one from Mutil uh, Mutilist Alid V. Both of them are the same message with the picture of Stalker. That is how you know that you've been marked by Stalker. And the only way that you get unmarked by Stalker is either... Is basically he just shows up on you. Now whether you kill him or not, um, his... Your mark will go away. So basically that's your opportunity to kill Stalker. If you don't kill him, no big deal. He takes nothing from you other than your pride and your dignity. But if you do kill him, you do have a chance to walk away with some really sweet loot. So getting into the loot as far as what Shadow Stalker or regular Stalker could be dropping, everything is exactly the same that, you know, Shadow Stalker will drop everything that regular Stalker drops, plus, regular Stalker will not drop this, but Shadow Stalker will drop uh, a broken war blueprint and a war blueprint. That is the only difference as far as, like, you know, what Shadow Stalker will drop and regular Stalker will drop. So you get all the extra things with Shadow Stalker, and you're only missing out on the war and broken war with regular Stalker. As far as the statistics goes with Stalker versus Shadow Stalker, the only difference really is that the regular Stalker has a flesh of 450 and the Shadow Stalker has a flesh of 750. So he's got a little bit more meat on them bones. So getting into different ways that you guys can def uh, farm Stalker, kind of, would basically be like, you just want to basically have everybody in your squad go do an easy-ass mission where, like, the boss is pretty simple. It doesn't matter who the boss is or anything. The point is you just want to get marked by the Stalker. And have everybody go kill the boss individually. Once you guys have a bunch of marks, you should pair up and start playing in games together. Now, based off of the statistics and everything like that, it really doesn't seem like Stalker has a very high spawn chance whatsoever. Even if you do have a lot of people that you're playing with in the same squad, it is completely random 100% of the time. But I'd say that is probably the best bet for you to farm Stalker. The only other thing that I'd say you guys could do is when the Void Trader comes around, he brings these things called beacons. And you can buy Stalker beacons for 200 ducats and a whole bunch of credits. And in my personal opinion, it is a waste of money. Some of you guys have told me that you have spent... You, bought, you spent enough that you were able to buy 20 beacons for Stalker. And not only did you not get war, not only did you not get broken war, you didn't get anything else. You didn't, he didn't even drop a dread. He didn't drop like a hate, a despair. He didn't drop any of that stuff. You really were just left with mods every time you fought him and killed him. So that is not something that I would recommend. Can you do it? Yes, but it is a super gamble and you guys just have to be aware of that. Realistically, instead of you guys spending like all those parts and turning them into ducats, I think you should try to sell those things because if you take a look at like what you guys can buy over here under the bundles and stuff, we're looking for the What Stalker pack, which basically the What Stalker pack is going to wind up giving you the Dread, the Despair, and the Hate, 
And you're gonna get smoke colors on top of that, like a whole smoke color palette. Now that thing's gonna cost you 800 platinum, but if you think about all the parts, all the things you're gonna have to sell and turn into ducats to turn into, you know, like, like basically to just turn into stalker beacons and then go farm him, and it doesn't even guarantee that you're gonna get him, you could potentially run it 20 times and not get anything, not a single part. So realistically, I, I personally feel like the smartest thing you guys could do to be able to get the weapons and stuff like that from Stalker would be to save up Platinum. All those things you could turn in, you know, all the, all the, like, parts you could sell for Ducats, sell them for Platinum instead and just buy the bundles. That's what I think would be a better thing you can do. The other bundle that I want to show you guys is this is actually my favorite bundle. One of my favorite bundles in the entire game. And it's called Hunhouse Gift. Now, Hunhouse Gift comes with a lot of really cool stuff. It comes with the war, it comes with the Pakal shoulder plates, Pakal chest plate, leg guards, the Cyan Donna. Uh, it comes with Kubro armor, and it comes with the Scimitar uh, skin for your ship, which is, for the most part, the one that you guys see me using all the time. So, you guys can take a look at the Stalker that I have on right now. Or at least, uh, Excalibur right here that I have on right now. This is all the stuff that he comes with right here, so you guys can take a look. He, you got, you got the, uh, shoulder plates, Cyan Donna, chest plate, you got the leg plates or whatever they are. This is really cool looking, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite bundles, I think this is just one of the coolest looking things. And, uh, and literally you guys are gonna have the ability to turn your, uh, your stalk, your Excalibur into like a stalker looking kind of figure right there. So for those of you guys that have been playing Warframe for a really long time, there's something interesting that I found over here on the Shadow Stalker wiki. And that is basically it says, visually, Shadow Stalker takes the form of Excalibur Umbra. So what you're saying is, DE, that if you are going to release an Excalibur Umbra for us, you're basically giving us an Excalibur that we could make look almost identical to Stalker. So I'm imagining even more so than the way this Excalibur looks. And I am super pumped about that. That is fantastic. So we can't get Excalibur Prime unless we were a founder. However, we might be able to ro rock this uh, Excal Umbra skin, which basically is going to let us look like Stalker. I like that. That is really cool. DE, good on you guys. I appreciate that. So you guys, that for the most part wraps up the whole Stalker and... How you kinda can farm him, but he's not really farmable. So, for those of you guys that are new, we do platinum giveaways on this channel. I'm just letting you guys know that you guys have the ability to win platinum codes here from DE. And you guys have the ability to, to separately win platinum codes over on my Twitch channel as well. You guys can watch a video in the description called Winning Platinum to learn how to win on my Twitch channel. But basically... The way that you guys are going to wind up winning Platinum over here on this channel is, uh, on the YouTube channel, is basically being subscribed, liking every video, whether it's Warframe related or not, and commenting a lot. Basically, by you guys commenting and being active and stuff like that on this channel, I can search that and find out how active you guys actually are, and I will favor those of you that are more active, kind of helping keeping the community alive and stuff like that, so just keep in mind, this is a cool place to hang out as well as my Twitch channel, and you guys can make friends, pair up with other people, but you know what, you guys? That about wraps it up. Thank you so much for hanging out. I love your faces. You guys are amazing, and I will see you all in the next video.